So we are here in Ohio with the one and only Eric Gingerich. You guys have seen this truck previously on the channel. So now we're here. He's just got a new trans in it, right? Yeah. And uh, let's check this thing out. You probably have seen it ripping some heaters around, but. So the cocaine train, here she is, the party animal. That's pretty much what you built this thing for, right? Pretty much, it's pretty much what it gets used for anyway. I mean. Bunch of burnouts, that meets this thing laser down. So if you don't mind, fuel, air, kind of a quick rundown of where this thing came from. Yeah, so basically uh, I bought it as my first vehicle at the age of 18 and a half, I think. There you go. Um, got it with a six inch pro comp lift in it and 20 by 10s on it, 35s, and I think it had EFI Live in it um, back when EFI Live was like the hot thing. <laughs> Um, but we've come a long ways from there. Um, it's been through multiple setups and uh, pretty much now it's on its, I want to say this is like, it's either third or fourth engine, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, and I've been through trannies like, yeah, this is the last time I'm giving Allison a shot. Allison, if this, if this doesn't, yeah, then I'm going to 48. Casual and two, three engine. engines, couple trans, no yeah. big deal. Yeah. <laughs> the life of a ripper right there. Yeah, pretty much it's it, it's clean from a distance. It looks good. It has its own gangster vibe, has its own name. I just found out it does really good burnouts one time. And I thought, <laughs> well, I just like to do burnouts, so. I just like to do burnouts, so. Yeah. just party with it and and the rest is you know not really it's not really a clean clean truck but it's 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 nice it's, it's cool. got its style man the yeah. soot on the roof the rubber on the back i mean you don't even gotta clean this thing roll right into the meats like this <laughs> i would like to pull up some pictures for sure of where this thing came from but at the yeah. point now you said it's compound setup yep. um and what what setup's on it right now uh, I'm running a S484 over a S366, and then I'm doing the uh, 150 injectors, and I'm running a... Uh, 12 mil pump, right? Yeah, 12 mil stroker pump. And power-wise, you said it has been on the dyno at some point, right? Yeah, it's putting right around 12 on fuel and 13 with a shot of spray. This thing is is no joke. That was a ripper, man. Oh my. That's what we like to see right there. The old cocaine train. Black roof, black bedsides. She's ready to rip. 
Oh yeah, we put we put some work in, man. Let's hear this thing, boys. <laughs> oh hell yeah, brother! How many horsepower this thing got? She's a ripper though, huh? <laughs> so going for a little rip in the Duramax, got the hood stack, our buddy right here. So just cruising around the streets of Ohio and we'll see how this thing sounds. This thing is an absolute monster. Oh my. I enjoy it. It's actually a stress relief to be honest. A little a little stress reliever? Yeah, I like that shit for stress relief. It sounds so good too, this thing. Yeah. yeah. The turbo, the exhaust. Oh my. <laughs> Just some casual soot on the headliner. And just so if people are curious about the suspension, wheels, tires, you said that it's lowered, right? Yeah, it is actually uh, reverse leveled, three and a half inches in the back, and 22 by 12 uh, custom BCR wheels. 420 yeah, yeah. Vs, yeah, sorry, forgot. <laughs> I haven't been in the truck scene for a long time, and I've it's been sitting for a year. Um, I was just doing other things in life and grinding and whatnot, and yeah. Yeah, you've probably seen this on Instagram within, you know, a couple of years ago at least. So it's cool to kind of get a, this truck back in action over here because it is a complete ripper that deserves all the attention. That's for sure. I mean, you were one of the first I think I seen with a hood stack back in the day before a hood stack was yeah. the, the the cool thing to do, you know? Yeah. Well, when you hood stacked, did you know what year that was? Um, That would have been back in... I think that was like four years ago, five. Actually, when I did put the, the hood stack in, it was lifted with the 24 by 16s, which was a very obnoxious setup, which is my favorite, but this just parties better. Um, and you guys have to excuse my voice. I lost it like on Tuesday just from work. And yeah. and, also, and also we did just come from UCC, kind of a crazy hectic weekend. Absolutely, so. it was a good weekend. Oh yeah, for sure. I feel like most people have lost their voice by now. But once again, dude, beautiful truck. I'm glad to finally see it i know last time we couldn't really bring her out but here she is in all her glory these tires about ready if you haven't already make sure shoot him a follow on instagram eric gingerich he also has a cousin sam if you're watching this yeah. we're ready for some burnouts dude my truck eric's truck and yours let's get her going Absolutely. my man eric is also going to be starting a youtube channel very soon having some fun with this truck and all his other toys so stay tuned he will be popping a channel on youtube very soon i'll make sure to pop that up either on the screen or if you guys follow my instagram or his i'm sure you'll see it but stay tuned and look forward to some more rowdy content with this old girl So just about to get out of here with Eric. I'm glad we finally got to make this shit happen, man. Sure. Been about what? Year in the making, huh? Yeah, it's been a year for sure. I mean, we, we attempted it a few times <laughs> and it never really lined up, but, but we finally got it to happen. So. Certified ripper. I say it was a successful day for sure. Yeah. This thing freaking eats. But until next time, we might have to get both our trucks together next time. For sure. I'm down. And your cousin. What, Sam? Sam. Sam. You're in on this, buddy. <laughs>